Hazel has a story she wants to tell us. Hazel, what's the story about? I just came across this. Okay. It says, did you know that making a pledge at church and not fulfilling it is a sin to God? Okay, so first, first, okay, making a pledge at a church, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So let's put this one down, church. Yes. Okay. And then the second one, pledge. Okay. Yes. And not fulfilling it is mm -hmm. a sin. Even delaying with the pledge, just delaying is also a sin. Okay. So delaying with the pledge is also a sin. Yes. Okay. And, and then who wrote this one? Uh, it's, it's, it's some apostle. Okay. And the verses to actually support that. Okay. So, yeah. so, so the verses, the verses are on the screen. Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes. Yeah. These are all old, 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 old Testament, you know? Yeah. Do you know this? Yes. These are old testaments. Mm -hmm. If these criminals want to steal you, mm -hmm. they don't quote from the New Testament. They always go to the Old Testament, but they for, they don't they forget to also work on Old Testament because Old Testament they have um, human sacrifice, animal sacrifice, but they don't do this. Yes, they said yes, that one yes. God has cleansed it, whatever. <laughs> but when they want to steal, then they go to the Old Testament. Okay, then so you have so, to sacrifice. Okay, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I don't know. Um, how true that is because the, the verses say that it's, it's actually a sin to pledge to who the verses to say the, it's a sin to pledge to who if you make a pledge unto the Lord so what the fuck is, <laughs> is the pastor a Lord? <laughs> the pastor is not the Lord yeah. this, this is the mistake this is the mistake you guys you guys are making on to date you know you've taken these pastors as your laws that's why that's why it's giving you this quotation if you read the whole Bible or the whole verse of this Galatian or whatever, the pastor has nothing to do here. You understand? Well, I guess he calls himself the church. So, so if no, he... the body is the temple of the Lord, right? Yes. So if I make promise to Hazel, oh Hazel, I'm going to give you a thousand rents, let's say in the next two months, and then mm -hmm. I fail to give you that cash. Mm -hmm. I've made a promise to the Lord and I did not fulfill <laughs> it. No. <laughs> no, you, you must... Listen, listen. I just want you. To, I just want us to have a, 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 a reasonable conversation. You understand? Because okay. if I make a, a promise to you, yes, that I will give something to you, and I did not deliver, it means you are the temp, the body of the, the the Lord, right? Yes. Because you are the temple. So of you the Lord. sinned against. I've God. sinned against God because it's you. <laughs> That's why He said, "Whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven." heaven. Yes. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And then he has given us the authority, mm -hmm. the, the, the authorities on our tongues yes. that we can curse, we can also bless. bless. Mm. It has nothing to do with this particular person saying this person can bless, this person can curse. We can also curse, we can also <laughs> bless. So stop giving this this uh, this uh, uh, opportunity or giving this uh, power or this um, power of attorney to this person calling himself man of God because you think he is standing in between you and then the Lord. But we all understand that now a church is a business. So when it comes to money, they will make sure that you follow whatever. Because I remember I, I, I met all this. I met all this. Yes. And then they said um, they are taking tight. I said I'm not paying the tight. And I asked them, if I'm not paying the tight, who am I offending? They said the Lord. Okay, I said I want to offend the Lord. <laughs> You understand? So, so, so stop, stop thinking that if you do something in the church, okay, you are afraid of the pastor. Hey, the pastor saying this, this pastor, mm. nothing is happening. <laughs> you offend the Lord and you deal with it on judgment day. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. so this pastor who sent this message, if you are on that group, just comment. You are a criminal, straight. <laughs> nothing will happen. It's fine. You know. Yeah. It's not like I offended the Lord. No, no, no. If not, he, he's not Lord. <laughs> okay. He's not Lord. You understand? Like somebody would say, ah, this is a man of God. So who are you? Man of monkey or man of goat <laughs> or man of what? Man of humans. Like you're because we are all created God. in the image of the Lord. Uh -huh. If you look in the mirror, mm -hmm. you see yourself in the mirror. You That's are the true. Lord of yourself. Yeah. In so, the image of God. so why do you say this is man of God and you are what man of chicken or man of pork or what? That that then that's where the mistake starts. That's where it all starts. Because the moment you start giving him a rank, 
that's closer to God and you feel like you're not closer to God. That's when you start telling me that, no, if I speak to God, he will answer you. If you give me money as a seed and then I pray to God, he will answer your prayer. So it means God is a gambler. <laughs> How does he eat the money? Does he go back? These are, these are all, all manipulation. Yes, they it's... are trying to, to use your mind to gain themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. It... And, and most of these people scam ladies. And yeah, you most churches is women, you know, because women are easy targets. Yes, yes. You, know, you know what I'm saying. So, 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 what I want to say about this, your, um, your post is, just tell this pastor, please, you are not God, you are not Lord. You understand? You are not my Lord. Yeah. Let, let me sin against. Yeah, God. yeah. I want to have problem with the Lord. So you think about your own. <laughs> so if I promise the Lord, I will do something for the Lord. You understand, and I did not deliver. It's my problem with the Lord, not yeah. you. Yeah. In in and and most most important thing, even is in the Bible. He said, a true worshiper of the Lord is the one who who visits the orphan, the needy, the poor, and the widow. That's true. That's, so, that's true. you you know what I mean. This is where yeah. the blessings are. So I if you really want that. to be a true Christian and you really want God to bless you. These are the people you need to visit. That's true. Because you find out that in the church, there are people who are buying pastors, houses, cars, but their parents are actually suffering. Or you tell the parents that this month I cannot send money because I made a pledge at church. I have to fulfill this this pledge, so I cannot do this for you. You understand? So so the, the main important thing for you to do, if you really think you are blessed, is to help the poor. Help people who are in need. Who are in need. Yes. You understand? These are the people you need to help. Yeah, that's true. Then giving someone who who already has millions, and then you're adding on to that, but if someone is sleeping hungry. You understand? Like a video I want to play to you now. Okay. This man of God is saying, he's he's calling uh, the, the, the members foolish. You understand? He <laughs> called them foolish, straight okay. foolish. Listen to what this man of God said to me. Listen including myself so don't think i'm just abusing you somebody's preaching god is your covering is your everlasting and then he enters his car mobile is going in front you you are going on foot who will protect you are you not thinking and yet we celebrate them great men of god who has bewitched you who are now the galatians galatians chapter 3 verse. who has bewitched you oh foolish galatians the man is saying the lord be with you we protect you you are too you too loaded to be caused or something and when you finish service he enters his car bulletproof car Mobile is carrying gun in front, one at the back, and you, you are going on foot. Who is foolish? Our Muslim brothers leave their shoes at the door. And you believe, what do you leave at the door? You leave your brain at the door. Because we don't think. We come to church, we don't think. But those are the ones we respect. Those are our big men of God. When the blind is leading the blind, where will they end? Our streets should be filled with joy. Our homes filled with dancing. Injustice should bow. But it's in the church that you have people whose hearts are so dirty to one another. They are so hardened, bitterness, affronge, jealousy, all those things in the church. Where's the Christianity? Where's love? Tell me, where's the love? And then are those the people that will change the world? See what this pastor is saying or he's talking about. He's very wise. This is was the message from Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. When they ask him about the, the Ten Commandment, Jesus said, if you have love, yes. you fulfill the Ten Commandment. Because love covers all everything, the commandments. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The pastor said something, he said a key in what he said. The moment you enter this church, you leave your brain at the uh, door. And yeah. he's 100% I mean, right. That's why somebody can just tell you, you will die in the next two hours. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. You so know? you need to make a seed. You, you understand? Need to seed so yeah. that you in the back. spiritual realm, I saw that your mother is going to die. Oh, pastor. Your brain is not working that time. If if this pastor says this to you, just go to the police station and report. <laughs> make a report. Because the pastor is going to kill your mom. It's, it's a street thing. It's, don't laugh. <laughs> I'm being real. I'm being okay, real. Okay, he's gonna go and kill your mom to fulfill the. Yeah, yeah. You need to kill prophecy. your mom. So the so it's not spiritual. It's physical. But then that that's how they instill fear in you, and that way you'll go and seed. You even sell your car. You even seed a house 
because you want to live you understand yeah so this pastor was saying something very important no, that very important that um you, you've taken somebody as your spiritual father after church this man goes out with bodyguards bulletproof cars the security is tight and then you are walking barefooted mm. maybe in the dust you know what i mean so who is protecting the other you, 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 you cannot answer <laughs> who is protecting the other you understand the man said he's protecting in the spiritual realm okay so what about walking to the to, to your house a friend of mine was telling me that there's a time she had to see the shoes because you don't have anything to see yes. again and say the pastor would actually call you by name and say ah sister hazel you're sitting down are you not going to sit Mm-hmm. And then she said I had nothing, so I had to go and seat my shoes and walk home because she does not even have a car. Yeah. So she had to go to the taxi rank barefoot. That is what this pastor is saying <laughs> that people come to the church and leave their brains outside. You understand? And then there's another pastor in Ghana who said the same thing that foolish born again Christians who are believers and not thinkers, you lie to them, they believe it. Mm-hmm. You know the easiest people to deceive on earth are the foolish born again Christians. Yeah. You, you understand because they believe they believe anything so so much anything belief. yes the most important thing is they've seen that this guy has prophecy uh, or prophesy about somebody it happens and then that's it everybody's running to this guy you know what i'm saying but they are all criminals you know what i'm saying they don't see anything they don't see nothing that's why you play with your 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 mind your the, conscience yeah. it, it goes back to poverty because if you look at white pastors let's say for example who are abroad like in, in europe you will never see such Mm-hmm. You never see such. When you go to those churches, all you do is worship God. Like all the t- all the time, you're thanking God, you're praising God. There is no prof- uh, come. I want to prophesy this. You need to give this. You need to. If you're gonna do anything, you're doing it wholeheartedly. That's the that the, the mistake. This church goers found themselves in, because if you truly think you are a Christian, and then Lord or Jesus Christ, as we call Him, said He's going, but He's going to help us with the Holy Spirit meaning we have the holy spirit in us yes so automatically when you move into some place and then you think the place is not safe this holy spirit is going to direct you say you my guy yo sure. this place you're going is not safe mm-hmm. for you you got to go back is that cut that the tells- moment you just go to this place and then you got scammed it means you yourself you are a criminal <laughs> because you are a criminal how can you go to a pastor and tell the pastor please i want to give you this money help me get a job you're a criminal Meaning you are bribing you the bribing, pastor yes. to bribe God. Because, you are a criminal. That's true. Because God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And the rest will be added unto you. Yes. So the rest comes with the money, the business, yes. the, the marriage, the, you know, everything. Yeah. But so they don't want just, to seek the kingdom first. They just want to get the rest. Yeah, so, How? It's, so it's bribe. It's, it's, like, it's like taking a shortcut. So, so you are a criminal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is how, okay. they, and this, this is the main reason why they go to these churches. To find love, to find money, to yeah. find business, to find... But they, they want to use the shortcut. You, you know what I mean? Yes. But we don't go to church because of that. Mm-hmm. We go to church, as you said previously, to praise God. To praise God. To honor God. Yes. To share the Bible, the yes. good news. Yes. And then after you go your way, that's it. Yes. But you got scammed because you went there to buy something and then you need to pay. How can you tell me to, 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 to stand in front of us, to stand in between you and God for free? I need to charge you, my guy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's a bribe. It's a bribe. I need to charge you. So, so you're both criminals. Yeah. Both the pastor and... So this pastor who sent this message to your group, just tell this pastor, you are a criminal because you are not locked. And it's straight. Nothing will happen. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just telling you the thing straight up, yes? So, as if it are as rich or do for dear, and they're not for who could do with unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong one. What did you choose? Say, I'm always saying a year fita. Na a year fita non suno. Na a ye and cow bunny beer a woo no mu beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain, si beer. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every swam or come, come, come. The other one is a utu so. Now, would it be a goo or brush it or so? Now, the chicho, send it soon in a come. Oh, yeah, and who were no general were no sa into for a unique laser whitening. I was 079 Unique laser whitening or say, Muni Sesso. Hello.